Hello everyone, Instream Trades Academy is here with you and the first lesson of the section named Trading View System Overview. Here we have a default page of Trading View that every new registered user sees. In the main menu of the site, select Charts. Here is the main work area of the Trading View. As you can see, it may be divided into several parts or panels. Left panel, top panel, right panel, bottom panel, and main work area. Our lessons will cover almost every part in detail. In this tutorial, let's take a closer look at the top panel. The most important elements of the top panel are symbol search, time frames, candle types, indicators, and layouts. Let's start with the first element, symbol search. At the first entry, the Apple Corporation price chart is displayed by default, and in order to select another trading asset, you must click on this element, and the search window will open. Below the input field, there are additional filters, such as Stock, Futures, Forex, CFD, Cryptocurrencies, Index, Economy. The default selected value is All. To search for trading asset, you need to start entering either its full name or an abbreviation code. The results on the right side display different exchanges where this trading asset is available. For example, I want to see a Bitcoin chart on Bitstamp exchange. Click on the desired line and instead of the Apple chart, we see the Bitcoin chart on Bitstamp. Next, we need to determine which time frame to use. After clicking, in the drop-down menu, you can see different time frames – day, week, month. You can also see options for minute time frames and hourly time frames. To the right of a time frame label, you find the Add to Favorite button. For example, I want to have a quick access to several time frames which I add to my favorites. Now, all selected time frames are displayed in the top panel. To add a time frame that is not in the list, scroll down and enter, for example, 12. Then select Hours and click Add. Now the 12 hour time frame has been added. Add a 6 hour time frame in the same way. Here is an example how to add a 3 day time frame. We have configured the time frames for a quick transition between them. To switch to the desired time frame, just click on it. For example, if you want to see a candlestick chart on a 3 hour time frame, just click on it. You can scroll around the chart and view the past data. Click on 3 days, then a candlestick chart is displayed where each candle represents 3 days. At the bottom, a button for updating the chart can be found. Let's try to switch between several time frames. Now it's time to talk about the candle types. By default, standard Japanese candlesticks are used, but you can choose any other type – hollow, heikenashi, line, area, bars, etc. Let's choose bars. Now instead of usual candles, we see a candle where the dash at the top is the open price of a bearish candle. The dash at the bottom is the close price and the body of the candlestick show the price movement. Same here, the dash below is the opening of a bullish candle, the dash above is the closure price and the body is the price movement. Now select line, then area or for example heikinashi. In most cases traders use a standard candle type. To change the appearance of the candles, just double-click on any candle to open the settings window. 
You can change the color of the candles separately for bullish and separately for bearish candles. You can make several different variations and save each one in a separate template. To do this, select Save Template and specify template name. If for some reason you decide to restore the default settings, just select Apply Defaults. Now let's look at indicators. You can view all the built-in indicators or use a search to find the one needed. For example, you can find moving averages. We see standard moving averages and exponential and others. For quick access to the desired indicator in the future, you can add it to your favorites. Let's find the RSI and add this indicator to favorites as well. Click on the favorites tab and here we find all the indicators that have been added to the favorites list. To add an indicator to the chart, click on its name. Close the indicators window and see indicators added to the chart. Here is the moving average, here is RSI and here is the volume. If you need to disable some indicators, for example volume, then you must click on the show or hide icon. Similarly, you can enable hidden indicators. To change the parameters of indicators, you need to double click on the desired one and change the required values in the settings window. For example, change the length from 9 to 100 or change the indicator color to black and make the line thicker. You can add several same type indicators and assign them different parameters. For example, let's add an EMA and change the length to 21. Look at the RSI parameters. Let's change the background by changing the color and transparency. Now let's brighten the levels. Note that when the time frame is changed, all the indicators are automatically recalculated. When clicking the layouts, different display options are visible. Here is a vertical display of two trading assets. On the left is the Bitcoin chart and in the right column, for example, let's set the Ethereum chart. Select Ethereum on the Binance Exchange. We can change the display style to a horizontal display of two charts. Also note that if you double-click on the chart, the indicators below will be hidden and the entire workspace will be occupied by the chart. If you double-click again, then everything will return as it was. Similarly, if you double-click on the indicator, in our case RSI, then the indicator will expand to the entire working area. Now let's talk about the Manage Chart Layouts option. 
Clicking, clicking the arrow will open the layout management menu where you can create a copy of a current layout or create a new one. We can save the current layout. You see that it is labeled as unnamed. Let's assign a name to a current layout. Click rename and enter the name of the layout. Now you make a copy of this layout. A copy of the layout has been created. You can add other indicators or remove existing ones, for example RSI. Change the parameters, for example change the lengths from 100 to 200. Choose a different time frame. Select another trading asset, for example Ethereum. Rename this layout, assign a title that makes sense. Now when click Load Chart Layouts, we will see a list of all saved layouts. We can add some of them into our favorites list. To open a layout just click on its name. Click on the full screen button and the chart will expand to the entire screen working area and the side panels will be hidden. Press Escape to go back into a standard mode. There is also a settings button. We have already talked about customizing the candle's appearance. But you can change other parameters as well, for example, various values which are displayed on the right of the asset name. Select the Appearance tab and now we can change the display parameters of the chart layout grid. See how you can change the brightness or color of the grid lines. We recommend that you explore the rest of parameters. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. For more lessons, visit our Academy website at instreamtrades.com.